dear students we will uh, discuss one numerical uh, in today's lecture uh, and this numerical is uh, about the conversion of a transfer function to a companion form using controllable uh, canonical form and this is an alternative method of doing so so in our previous lecture we have uh, discussed this numerical and the same numerical we will see that how we can convert this into the equivalent state space model using controllable canonical form through an alternative approach so uh, the transfer function is given here and the general uh, transfer function for any linear time invariant discrete time system is this one so uh, here if we take m is equal to n then the required matrices are these f matrix g matrix c matrix and d matrix so f matrix is basically the state matrix g is the control matrix c is the output matrix and d is state transmission matrix so here in this we will take uz is equal to rz because uh, the transfer function is in terms of yz upon rz right now in our previous lecture we have already discussed this thing and we obtained the state space model which is given here right so in that lecture we have seen that how we can use the formula and we can obtain the values of alphas and betas and substitute these values in the matrices and then uh, we can obtain the respective uh, matrices f g c and d by simply substituting the values of alphas and betas uh, into the formula alphas and betas can be obtained by comparing the given transfer function with the standard transfer function of similar order for example here we have a second order system so we need to convert the standard form of transfer function into the second order transfer function which is given here in equation number three so we have compared equation number three with equation number two and hence we have obtained the values of alphas and betas now in today's lecture we will see that how we can use an alternate approach to solve the same numerical and obtain the state space model so the transfer function given is this one and as we can see we can simply convert this transfer function into uh, we can simply rationalize uh, this and we can get yz upon xz and xz upon rz then we have uh, divided uh, this in, uh, right hand side of the transfer function into two uh, factors one is the numerator part another is the denominator part and we have put yz upon xz equal to the numerator part and we have put xz upon rz equal to one by the denominator part now here we have multiplied this part with xz and we have got this one this is let us say in this case is equation number one and similarly we have uh, multiplied this here with xz and here it is with one so now we have got this equation here right so uh, we have taken the inverse z transform of equation one and two so by taking the inverse z transform of equation one and two we have got equation number three and equation number four now these equations are not in terms of x1 k x2 k x3 k like that because we have a second order system which is given to us this is a second order system and if it is a second order system then the number of states will be equal to two and hence we must have x1 k and x2 k in these equations so we will replace <laughs> these state variables and the state dynamics this these are the state dynamics and this is a state variable so we will replace these state variables and state dynamics with the 
uh, relevant states and state dynamic. For example, we have taken x one k is equal to x k, and when we do so, we can replace x k with x one k in both of these equations, equation number three and four. Now, if we have taken x one k is equal to x k, so if we put x one we replace k with k plus 1 so it will give me x1 k plus 1 is equal to x k plus 1 and this is let us say equal to x2 k right it is equal to x2 k for example this is equation number 6 similarly if i put x2 k plus 1 so i i put k with k plus 1 i replace k with k plus 1 in this equation here so it will become x2 k plus 1 which is equal to x1 k plus 2 and it is equal to x k plus 2 now this is let us equation number 7 this means that i can replace x k plus 2 with x2 k plus 1 x k plus 1 with x2 k And x k with x one k in equation number three and four. So let us write this statement here. So we can replace all these with the relevant, uh, you know, states and state dynamics in equation three and four. So by doing so, we'll get y k in terms of x one k, x two k, and x two k plus one. So y k is equal to three x two k plus one. And we have minus x k plus one, so it will be replaced with x k plus one will be replaced with x two k, right? So minus x two k, and then we have minus three x k, so minus three x one k, right? So this is, for example, equation number eight. Now similarly, we can replace these x k, x k plus one, and x k plus two. With x one k, x two k, and x two k plus one in equation number four. Now, if we do so, the equation number four will be modified as x two k plus one plus one by three x two k minus two by three x one k. And this is equal to R K, right? So this is, uh, let us say, equation some equation. So we can rearrange this equation in terms of x two K plus one. So x two K plus one is equal to minus. Sorry, this minus will become positive on that side. So it will be two by three x one. So it is two by three x one. Minus one by three x two and k will obviously be there, and then we have R K, right? So this is, for example, equation number nine. Now, as we can see, that equation eight, which represents the output equation here, so this output equation is in terms of a state dynamic. This is x two k plus one, which is basically the dynamics. Ah, uh, this is a dynamic term actually. so we will replace this x2 k from here into the equation number 8 here right so then in that case equation number 8 will be modified as y k is equal to 3 then we have 2 by 3 x1 k minus 1 by 3 x2 k plus r k minus x2 k Minus three x one k, right? So this will be if we multiply it in brackets, so we'll get three and three will be cancelled out. So we have two x one k. Similarly, here it will be minus x two k, and then we have plus three r k, and minus x two k, minus three x one k. Now we can. Add or subtract the similar terms here. So, like we have x one k, and we have x one k term here, and then we have x two k term, and we have an x two k term here, right? 
so let us simplify this one so minus 3 plus 2 will be minus so this is minus x1 k minus x2 k and minus x2 k will be minus 2 x2 k and then we have plus 3 r k right so this is y k this is for example equation number 10 now now from this analysis we can see that <clears throat> We can see that x1 k plus 1 from equation number 6 x1 k plus 1 is equal to x2 k x2 k plus 1 it is basically the equation number 9 right and similarly the output equation y k it is the equation number here right so now we have these equations now we can simply write all these equations at one place so writing equation number six and eight and nine uh, ten sorry six nine and ten at one place now we can take all the equations here now take equations six nine and ten so sixth equation is x1 k plus 1 which is equal to x2 k equation number 9 is x2 k plus 1 is equal to 2 by 3 x1 k minus 1 by 3 x2 k 2 by 3 x1 k minus 1 by 3 x2 k and then we have r k here so plus r k then we have the output equation y k so y k is equal to we have minus x1 k minus 2 x2 k and plus 3 r k right now we have these equations so these equations can be uh, we can represent these equations in matrix form right in matrix four, right? So when we do so, we get x1 k plus one, x2 k plus one, and it is equal to. Now then we will be having a two by two matrix, right? And then we have the state vector x1 k, and then we have x2 k, plus we have g matrix here this would be 2 into 1 matrix and we have output uk uh, which is uh, basically the rk only now because uh, rk we have taken equal to uk right so we will mention uk here right so similarly we have the output equation yk which is equal to the product of a matrix which is 1 into 2 matrix and then we have the state vector x1 k and x2 k then we have a scalar matrix one by one matrix d and uk right so we can name these matrices here like this is the matrix f this is matrix g this is matrix c and this is matrix d here right so we can write the elements of each matrix Fine. So as we can see, x1 k plus 1 is equal to x2 k. So in this equation, we can also write it like this. 0 x1 k plus x2 k plus 0 r k, right? So uh, that means the x1 k, it has a 0 coefficient. x2 k it is one coefficient one here similarly in x2 k plus one the coefficient of x1 k is two by three and the coefficient of x2 k is minus one by three and now let us come to the matrix g 
सो एक्स वन के प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स वन के प्लस एक्स टू के प्लस जीरो आर के राइट एंड एक्स टू के प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू बाई थ्री एक्स वन के माइनस वन बाई थ्री एक्स टू के एंड वन आर के राइट देन वी हैव आउटपुट सो इन आउटपुट वी कैन सी वी हैव माइनस वन एंड माइनस टू सो टू कॉफिशंट्स आर देयर माइनस वन एंड माइनस टू एंड हियर वी हैव थ्री सो इफ वी सी सो फ्रॉम दिस एनालिसिस द मैट्रिक्स एफ इज जीरो वन टू बाय थ्री माइनस वन बाय थ्री एंड मैट्रिक्स जी इज जीरो एंड वन मैट्रिक्स सी इज माइनस वन एंड माइनस टू एंड मैट्रिक्स डी इज थ्री सो इफ वी सी सो द सेम मैट्रिक इज वी हैव ऑप्टेन हियर ऑल्सो by simply substituting the values of alphas and betas into the formula right the formulas are given here for a second order system right so the same type of matrix has been obtained by using the alternate approach of converting a transfer function of second order into a relevant or equivalent state space model okay so here we have simply used the derivation approach so we have derived this okay we have not substituted the values into the formula so this is how we can solve a given uh, system of uh, any order whether it is a second order or it is a third order or any order system okay so it is very simple and easy approach and yes of course uh, by substituting the values of alphas and betas in uh the formula is more simple than this one right so you can use any approach to obtain the state space model so this is it for today's lecture and thank you so much